All right, guys, this is your boy Kenny Corey, man, and I'm going to be giving you guys four steps on how to meet women here in Houston, Texas. And I'm not just going to tell you guys how to do it. I'm going to show you guys how to do it because I actually did it today. And I just want to share the tips because I know a lot of you guys out there struggling. And if you're like me, you just got out of a crazy relationship. Probably one of the first things you want to do is probably start meeting new people as fast as possible. Here's my four steps to meeting women here in Houston. Definitely my favorite place to come to get some wings, man. You guys gotta definitely check it out. The main thing that you wanna understand that when it comes to meeting new people is that really what you're doing is you're just expanding your social circle. That's really all you're doing. You wanna expand it. So you wanna do it in a natural way into where you're going to do things that you naturally would want to do, things that you're actually interested in, you're actually going to go do those things. For me, it just so happens that I really love honey chipotle wings, so I naturally go to where they are and I went to Hooters today. So the first step when it comes to meeting people here in Houston is you need to pick a good place. And that good place, once again, should be centered around something you already like to do. Like, if you like to bowl, then go bowling. Just go find an activity, find a social thing to do, and go there. For me, it just so happened to be Hooters. Okay, so step two is probably one of the most critical parts of the steps because you can pretty much almost pick any place in Houston to go meet someone. Like it could be a coffee lounge or whatever. But the step two is the most important part because that's the part where you actually start the conversation. And that is you need something that's an actual like conversation starter. For me, my cheat code or my conversation starter that I have is what I'm holding right now, I have a camera. When I walk into any place, whether it's a business or wherever I'm going with my camera, people just naturally want to talk to me because, because they find my camera very interesting. And so it just makes it very easy to have conversations because most of the time people come to me and they want to know like, hey, what are you doing? Are you shooting a video here? And then that's when I'm like, oh, well, you know, I'm a YouTuber just out doing my thing, vlogging my day. And the conversation can go anywhere from there that I wanted to go after that. So, so I just came here to Hooters, right? Now I was minding my business. I really was this time, for real. And Gigi, who I met at the front, told me all about how she wants to be a YouTuber. So make sure y'all follow her. I do have a YouTube. I have two accounts, but I haven't like really post anything. So once I get my like camera and everything situated, be on lookout. But my YouTube name gonna be my name, Gianna Collins. Y'all know I like to travel. Hold yeah, on. I like to travel. Hold on, I travel all the time. I just but got back travel, from Puerto Rico. You travel more than me. I do. Most of the time, I'll probably lead the conversation. So basically, what happened to me was I got to Hooters and I sat down at my table and I had my camera. I was vlogging as usual. And then that's when my new friend Gigi came up to my table and asked me a few questions about what it's like to be a YouTuber. She wanted a few tips. And it just so happened that we just started hitting it off. We just had a basic conversation. So step three is you need to learn how to have a conversation without it sounding like you're desperate. So what you want to do is you want to lean into having a conversation about whatever the conversation started that really happened. You want to really focus in on that topic and have a lot of interest and a lot of passion into that topic. And more than likely the girl that you're talking to should also have that same interest because that's what started the conversation in the first place. So the deeper you get into that passion, the more connection that you're starting to create with that person, you're building a bond with that person because you're both talking about something that you like. So like my thing is like, I'm always trying to find, I'm always trying to find people who like to travel because I mean, shoot, maybe we might be able to travel one day. You never know. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we just, y'all literally saying we just met we right just now. I wasn't even trying to like, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't even, I didn't even know. I didn't even know but she, she here. So I'm going to check out, I'm going to, y'all follow her, follow her Instagram too. But it's, this is what you get on the Instagram, my boy. Yeah. Don't play, don't play. <laughs> hey, show me Jamaican kitchen, show me Hey, Jamaican, I was so, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, oh, all right. Hold on, hold on. What's that? Oh, you was, you was letting them rub you down. Yeah, but it's a good way to get someone interested in you without you having to compliment them a lot and make it seem like you just want them and all that stuff. It's just a really good way to have a conversation, and it's enjoyable for you and that other person. Okay, so now that you had this great conversation, you guys are starting to laugh and hit it off. You have to make sure you don't forget step four. And step four is to make sure you get the contact information. Yeah, it's all good. But all right, so Gigi, um, I'm gonna show her some tips on like YouTube and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna show y'all how dope these wings are too. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, this is why my this is my favorite Hooters. Like I live in Pearland, 
most of the time, but like, yeah, this is Get that honey chipotle breaded. That's the best. Like, he's yeah, here too. It like, really is. All time. Anybody it really is. Is. Oh, okay. Take a picture? Oh, it's, I'm just vlogging. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mud. You, gonna, you ain't got to walk away like that. You can say something. Oh, yeah. I'm not being mean. Like, we just met. We, everybody it's just fine. met. We good. Cool. We cool. Fine. We just it's vibing. Fine. It's cool. <laughs> All right. This is probably the part that most guys pride themselves on being able to get to, and that is getting the number or the Instagram or whatever type of way you're gonna be able to contact this person in the future so you guys can possibly have this next date. So for me and Gigi, it so happened to be Instagram at first. We got each other's Instagram information. And then after that, I actually ended up getting her number. I just wanted to give you guys these tips, man, because you know, meeting women in Houston is really not hard. I mean, once you pick a place, you have a conversation starter, the conversation is not like sound like you're desperate you're just having a normal conversation you're a human being and then you get the information i mean after that it's pretty easy after that you should be able to handle it after that but if not i'll probably give you guys some more tips in the future if you guys like this video and you want some more tips like this make sure you leave a comment in the comments and i'll make more videos like this that was a quick lesson see you guys in the next video peace you ain't gotta walk away like you can say something yeah. I'm not being mean, like, I'm not trying to just be like a, just, we, we, I don't even, we just met, we, we everybody just met, we cool, we cool, we cool, yeah, oh, it's, I'm just vlogging, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I'm about to, wait, wait till them weeds get here, for sure, and I, once again, her stuff, her information gonna be in the bio, Thank her you. description, alright.